Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. The Baltimore Ravens have now came out and said, well, Earl Thomas didn't violate anything in his contract that deems for them to release him. You know, if I'm not mistaken, he was to be paid $10 million this season. So it did look like, hey, hey, maybe it's just excuse to get out of paying him that $10 million. You guys got to understand a football contract is pretty much not worth writing it on toilet paper. And you already know what you do with toilet paper. So basically at the end of the day, the rumors were swirling that the Ravens were looking for a reason to void out his contract. But technically, he did nothing wrong that violates his uh, personal conduct uh, policy, personal conduct code, none of that stuff. Now, if he stepped out on his wife, that's unfortunate for him and his wife, but it isn't considered a violation of the NFL conduct policy. Because, like I said, well, if you wanted to pull that shit on people that step out on their wife, then you pretty much wouldn't have an NFL. That you probably would have probably 25% of the roster, you know, playing on, you know, football day, which is Sunday. I'm not going to say football night because most of the games are played in the afternoon. So... At the end of the day, I hope the Ravens wouldn't do nothing chicken shit like that to get out of paying somebody $10 million, try to release him based off the personal conduct policies. Once again, adultery is not considered a violation of personal conduct. Okay? Keep in mind, Earl Thomas wasn't arrested. Okay? Didn't break the law. Morally, it's considered wrong, but... Technically, he didn't break the law. So, the Ravens had came out and said, basically, they found out about it, well, basically through us. <laughs> so, <laughs> but they supposed to be on top of everything. But, nevertheless, it appears that the Baltimore Ravens have allegedly changed their tune. This your boy, Town Biz. I'm out. <laughs>